Welcome back. As summer quickly approaches, we are starting to feel the heat when it comes to the temperature outside. But no matter what the temp is outside, it's never okay to leave an animal locked inside a car for whatever the reason. The temperature inside a car can rise dramatically in a very short period of time, putting your pet at risk. So joining us now from the Animal Welfare Department to talk more about the dangers of leaving pets locked inside the car is Chief of Field Operations, Adam Rickey. Thank you so much for joining us, Adam. Thank you for having me this morning. A very important conversation that we have every year at this time because unfortunately, Generally, it is still a problem. So talk to me, you know, in general about when it comes to leaving a pet inside, mm -hmm. how hot does it typically get? So when a pet is left inside a vehicle, so the vehicle temperature can rise as much as 20 degrees within 10 minutes. Wow. Yeah, so like if we're looking at the temperatures that you were just talking about yeah. with your weather forecast, it's going to be above 80. So mm -hmm. within 10 minutes, it can be 100 degrees um, in that vehicle. That's crazy. So that's on top of what the air temperature is outside. Correct. Um, it, so is it ever okay to leave a pet inside the car, no matter what? Um, there, there really isn't. Um, you know, and what the, what the law requires is they have to have proper ventilation to be able to maintain um, their their body temperature. Mm -hmm. And if their body temperature starts to rise, um, it can become fatal um, fairly quickly. Oh man. Is, so what about if we have the windows cracked? Is that enough? Yeah, cracking the windows doesn't do anything to alleviate the, the temperature inside okay. the vehicle. It's the same thing with even parking underneath the, um, the shade. I mean, the, one of the important parts to keep in mind is dogs regulate their body temperature through panting okay. and also through the pads of their feet. Um, so that's mm. one of the ways that they do that. So if they're in a, in a car and it's a hot surface, yeah. they're not able to regulate their body temperature and it can start rising very quickly. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, all the time we talk to, even as humans, if we've got leather seats or something mm -hmm. and you sit down and you feel the heat, of course, they're going to feel the heat. Um, and that is something too, to talk about, um, just as a little tangent, you mentioned the pads of their feet. So even outside when they're getting out of the car, watch that asphalt, watch the cement, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, if you're going to be out walking your pet, you know, you should be putting, you mean the back of your hand down on the asphalt or the cement and if you can hold your you mean your hand there for a few seconds and it's okay to walk your dog okay. if you put your hand down and you don't leave it there mm -hmm. it's not a good time to be walking your pet good to know um as far as leaving pets inside a vehicle is there any sort of penalty as far as you know the law goes or it, punishment yeah there is you I mean it's actually it's a it's a misdemeanor offense it's a okay. criminal offense um if you're found in violation um of leaving your pet in a vehicle and by putting them at risk Okay, and being you know in the field operations, is this something you see quite a bit here in Albuquerque? It's it's something that you I mean Albuquerque does see. Um, you mean quite a bit. Um, okay. Actually, just yesterday in our own very parking lot, um, somebody was in to look for another pet and had their pet oh out in their vehicle, and officers right there have the conversation. We allowed the person bring their pet into our facility yeah. so to alleviate all that. But it, it's one of those things people think, oh, it's only just going to be a few minutes, mm -hmm. and it doesn't really take that long for it to become a serious situation. Good to know. Um, and as far as what we do if we see the, something like that happen, if we see a dog and we can mm. tell they're panting and they're they're looking like they're struggling, what do we do? Um, call 311. Okay. Um, they'll get over to our field officers, okay. um, and they'll get out and they'll respond and do what they need to do. And I've been told that's kind of a high priority call too. It, it is the highest of priority calls when okay. we get into the summer months. Good to know.